Well, we learned a lot and you know, that's why you do these things in November and, and um, I thought uh, there's, we just aren't clicking as far as the lineups. I think our guys are playing hard. Um, we're playing together. We're doing a lot of really good things, but I think there's an upside to this team once we get these lineups kind of, uh, you know, what our most effective lineups are, who, you know, who plays with whom the best, and, and on and on, that kind of thing. And, you know, you look all over the country, there's a lot of teams that are going through this. And, and you know, it's just the new era. That when we got, we've got some veterans that have been back and in the system, but when you have eight guys that weren't in the jerseys last year, I knew and we all knew that that part of it would take some time. But I'm pleased with our guys, the effort, their way they're playing together. We're doing some really good things offensively. We're doing some good things defensively, but areas we can get a lot better at. And so there's going to be growth in the team, and that's what you want. And you guys have had you know, the last couple of years where you've taken a loss or two early and it hasn't killed you. I mean, you've been able right. to learn from it and move on. Is that similar? I guess you guys aren't afraid. To, you know that it's a long season, and yeah. one loss in November is not going to kill your resume or kill your. Uh, Absolutely. Your I mean, it's a the, the, the selection is not today. You know, you got to go earn it. And the great thing is we've got some good opportunities right in front of us. And then, you know, our league's doing a great job again with, you know, with their numbers and the, and the teams in our league. And so there's a lot of positives to it, but it's the teams that can keep getting better now. And, you know, you got to go out and play some, you know, you could schedule all home games. You could schedule all, you know, those ones where there's no risk or very little risk. And, um, it, you know, there's risk to every game. I don't mean to sound like that, but that there's, we we want to go out and schedule aggressively, especially this year we did right out of the gate, and you know we've we've already as of today we've already got a quad one win, and there's not many teams, you know, when you look around that that have those in that banked a quad one win already, and so you know, uh, you'd like to win them all, no doubt, and you know we've been really competitive on all of them and been right there and. You know, we lose that tournament on the step back jumper. You know, uh, that, that's a tough way to lose it. But you know, it's an ACC team. Their number will correct because they're going to play a lot of good games too. And um, but it, it, you know, keeps making you turn it over and turn it over and get better. And that's what this team knows that, that we want to do. What do you? To get two games uh, that go down to the buzzer, I mean, I'm yeah. sure you'd love to win every game by 20, but that's not realistic. You know, but how nice is it to have? those two games on film to see how the team responds in those situations. Yeah, those, those that's experience. It helps you and it helps you learn, you know, what you can do different, and, you know, um, maybe to also make it so it doesn't have to go down to the buzzer. <laughs> and, uh, but we played some good teams there and, uh, you know, you're playing on a different time zone, big adjustment on the road, basically. And uh, so you learn a lot and, and you grow up a lot. And, and I think our team's doing that. Talk about what Buchanan's been able to do. Make yeah, he's, he's pretty good. really come on. Yeah, he's a pretty good player. Um, yeah, he and you know we knew it would take him some time to get a little comfortable and and like I said, where he fits in the program as far as the system and where he can get his buckets, what his strengths are, and you know I think he's settling in really nicely and uh, you know I think he was the best MVP of that tournament and I, he would have got it had the last shot not gone, but. Still think he deserved it. You were mentioning a lineups, Leon. I mean, you have the bench outscore the starters, special on that tournament. On one hand, that could go as well. I assume that's something you want to kind of get fixed, right? So where your starters are scoring on those points. Yeah, we're going to make, yeah, there's always going to be adjustments as you go and you're figuring stuff out. And, um, you know, that's kind of the part of the season you're at right now. And, and you look around the country and you see there's very few teams that have their roles. <laughs> You know, when you watch these teams closely, there's only a couple I've seen that they're like, okay, that team, they all know their roles and where their parts fit together. And there's, you know, this year, I swear there's way more that don't have their identity and their roles figured out than there are that do. Well, with that said, though, I mean, how much do you need Tyson to be Tyson? And right. And I guess Omar, too, to, to, to right. kind of that, that, that. Not play like he played in the tournament. No doubt, and and that's you know that's what we got to get them back to being at their best because you know you're talking about all league players and, and your all league players 
are going to perform, and, and they're going to perform over time. And yeah, and that was just a anomaly for you know for Omar, and there was a little foul trouble involved, all those kind of things. And but but we adjust, we figure it out, and we'll make him better. How when do you when do you find you know you mentioned teams finding their roles? When do you find that they usually find theirs? Is that something that goes it just, on all the way to March? Yeah, and it changes, and you know like we've had. It, with each, it changes with individuals, but it also changes with your team because just because we settle into it now doesn't mean it might change again in, in January or February. I mean, you look at that one year when we put Jeff Loriaga in the lineup about middle of the conference or late, you know, somewhere in January, and we went, went on to win like 14 out of our next 15 games. But he was a, he was a freshman. And he just got better and better and better and better, and then he was ready. But so you don't know when some, you know, we got some guys that are young and new in this system that that I envision them contributing way more as we go forward. I just you just don't know when sometimes. How much of a boost is that depth though when you can have Javen come off the bench and lead the team in scoring, especially yeah. you know tournament setting when you have back to back games and have to reach into your depth a little right. bit. Right, right, it's huge, and you know. Uh, it won us that South Dakota State game, and and then it you know put us in the position to to in the next game too. So now he's playing at a high level, and, and the guys. The best thing about this team is is how unselfish they are, and pretty smart basketball IQ because they kept finding him and kept getting him the ball, and, and it you know led to a, a good possession almost every time. And so you know, uh, like I said, we're doing a lot of really good things. And, you know, to beat Clemson like we did here, I mean, that, that, that's a heck of a basketball team we just beat. And, and like you stacked a quad one win already. So we're doing some great things, but the encouraging thing and exciting thing for me is I think we've got a lot of upside still. When you talk Second. about the, the lineups, I mean, it would seem like Javen and Tyson, I mean, they're, they're different, but they do a lot of similar things too in terms of what they can do, in, in my opinion. How do you... I mean, what we saw Javen doing a lot in that game, you're thinking, oh, that's last year, that was Tyson. Was yeah. Taking the ball, posting up, doing all right. that stuff. I mean, taking over the game. How do those guys kind of coexist out there? Right, and that's, you know, I think that's a big part of what affected Omar. You know, you got Tyson and Javen around the post. You got Dylan running to the post. And Omar's like, oh, we're about, you know. And I'm telling you, there's uh, a big, you know, when, when I looked at this team in, in the summer and in the fall, Omar was our best player a lot of days. And so we got to get him back to being comfortable and finding his spots too, because like I said, that's another all league player that, you know, that hasn't settled into to playing as good as I know he can and I know he will. And so that, that I think figuring that stuff out will really help Omar too. Like you said, Leo, your teams are still trying to find an identity. You know, you've got a handful of games under your belts. Where do you see the identity of this team Going, well, we're a load inside. I mean, and uh, with a lot of guys. So, and I think we've got a, a team that has a lot of offensive potential. Now we got to, you know, to win, to, to go where we want to go. You got to be elite defensively. You got to be elite on the glass. I mean, we were seven and two in conference on the road last year, and the reason was we were solid defensively and we're good on the glass. And, we got to improve those areas uh, a lot, and like I said, it's not like you know, it's not like we haven't been good, but we have to be great to, to go where we want to go. The newcomers, Emmanuel and Alvaro, what has kind of impressed you most with their role kind of so far this season? Um, well, both of you know, uh, Al has just kind of managed this team really well, but but he's. There's a lot of things he's going to do better down, you know, because he had to get comfortable with these guys and comfortable with our system and what, you know. So I think he's going to make a big jump. Emmanuel, same thing. He had to play college basketball before. And, you know, his adjustment has been pretty good, but there was a lot thrown at him. And, and again, another guy that can be around the hoop and score and big body that you're trying to juggle into that rotation and figure all that out to give him minutes out there because he's helped us in the minutes that he's given us. But, uh, probably the last 10 minutes all we've talked about, but what do you want to see against Utah Tech tomorrow? Yeah, I just, growth. We just have to keep getting better. And and I want to see, you know, the, the one plus one equals three. And what I mean by that is 
big part of that is on us to figure out the right lineups. Because when you get the right, the, like I said, these guys are clicking. There, we just don't have all the perfect lineups together. Sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, look, we got four forwards out there basically, and it doesn't mean you can't do that some. But we got to find the most effective way to get all these guys clicking together. And and I think we've made progress in that, no doubt. And just because we started one way doesn't mean we played that way a lot of the game. And when you look at the minutes, we've had some really productive lineups. And, you know, you spend the time in between games analyzing that stuff so you can have more minutes of that. Toy drive starts tomorrow, right? I believe it does. Yeah, well, how fun has it been the last couple of years to put that on? How yeah, excited that, are you for another one? That's That's been special. And, uh, you know, shout out to my buddy Mike Becker at Fun Co. For, I mean, he sends us boxes and boxes and boxes of toys that we get to last year McDonald House and, and throughout the community and um, but then this community stepped up like you wouldn't believe like the amount of toys we had to be able to go distribute those uh, it, what a it was just amazing and you know it, it it's neat for our guys to be able to do that because we a lot of our guys you know we got guys from far away in foreign countries and everything they stay here during Christmas and that's kind of the thing that we do together so it's it's really powerful and it's and it's credit to our community and it's credit to our guys wanting to do that but it it gives back to us because we, we we get to go see the faces and get to go do that it's pretty special Great.